real number set, I've set up some exercises. Uh, I want you to go on there and define which uh, group a certain number belongs to. So the symbols that you're going to be using is this. This represents element. Now what it means is, which number group does a certain number belong to? Is it the natural numbers, the whole numbers, the integers? So for example, I'm going to give you a number, I'm going to say, which group does this belong to? What you're going to do is say, well, 2 is an element of the natural numbers. Which group would uh, negative 2 belong to? Well, negative 2 is an integer. So what you're going to do is say, 2, negative 2 is an element of the integers. Now, if you remember the number, uh, the real number set, we had the natural numbers, the whole numbers, the integers, and the rational numbers, right? Each one is a subset of the previous one. So what you're going to have to do is take it down to the lowest value it can go. So 2, now 2 belongs to the whole number set, the integers and the rational numbers. But what you're going to do is take it down to the lowest set belongs to, which is the natural numbers. So for example, if I give you the number 0, 0, the lowest it goes to is the whole number set. So you're going to go 0 is an element of the whole number set. And you also have the irrational numbers. The symbol for this is Q with, Q with a bar on top. Sometimes they use I and this one switches over. But I'll just explain all that stuff on my website, okay? So if I give you an irrational number, which is a square root of a prime number, any prime number, let's say square root of 5. Now this number doesn't repeat and it doesn't end, okay? It's 2 point blah 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 blah, continues on and the numbers, uh, the pattern changes. So square root of 5 is an element of the irrational numbers, okay? Now, do the exercises, uh, if you're getting them wrong, make sure uh, you look at the video again and try to figure out how the real number set works. If you're still having problems, send, in, send me an email or post a comment on, uh, on the website and I'll try to clarify any problems you have. Okay? Good luck.